welcome back to my new video this video i'm going to teach you how you can use the function calling with open ai okay so in our last video um i gave you a demo on how to use the um the weather uh, give the application a sentence for us to um call external or internal api or endpoint for us to get the weather information so if you haven't checked that video you can check the um video number two and you have access to all the code uh, repository on github so here i'm going to create a new directory called um emails and within that, I'm going to create some files. The first one is going to be called utils.py. Um, the next one is going to be called um, main.py. And then the last one is, um, let's create .env. And this is going to contain all our credentials okay so i'm going to paste what you will need in this um dot env file so you will need your gmail address your gmail password the email receiver the smtp the port and then the open ai api key okay so you need to fill out all this information for the application to work okay so i'm going to pause the video put my information in and then come back okay so i filled um, my information in so i'm going to start with the utils um so the utils, we are going to define some functions. But before we do that, I'm going to do some import and then explain what is going on. So these are all the imports. We are importing the SMTP library. We are also importing email message, import email message. We said import um, OpenAI. And then also we importing .env. We load it. And then all these environment variables are coming from the .env file. So these are all um, variables inside the .env. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is we are going to create a function, a template function. Um, so the name of the function is to send email. And these are the parameters to subject and then the body. And then we create a dictionary out of that and then we dump it as a JSON. Okay, so that is the template function. And then there's another function also I'm going to declare. Um, this is going to be the internal um, email sender. So as you can see, it's, it's called email sender. And it takes the subject as well as the body. And you can see that these are coming from the environment variables. We instantiate the email message and then we do all the things and at the end of the day print um mail sent okay um we can as well do let's see let's do um import log guru let's log the information instead so i'm just gonna say log guru dot logger dot info okay i'm gonna say log guru dot logger dot error okay um so that is all for this function um so this is our internal function or our own defined function okay that is going to send the email and then the last function we are going to 
define is um, I'm calling it draft. Um, it's a bit long, so let me see what I can do here. Okay, so it's called draft email and it takes a content. And then remember, we are calling the chat completion API. And then this is the model we are using, GPT-40613. And then the user is what? Um, the role is user, okay? And then we pass in our content. And then as you can see, this is the function we are defining. Um, and then the name is what send email, as you can see above here, send email, which is the template uh, function. And then the description, which is very important, send email to a YouTuber, okay? And these are the type, the properties is what two subject and then the body, okay? And that that is reference to two subject and body, okay? And then um, with a two, it, the description is what email address of receiver, example, subject is subject of the email and it says example hello go data prof and then the body is what content of the email example checking to see what times you upload new youtube videos okay and all these arguments are going to be it's a list so it's going to be required the two subject and then the body and then the function call we are saying that it should be auto or it can be none, or we can also pass in the real function uh, in there. Okay, so that that is that. And um, I think the last part that I need, which is missing, is this. I think funk. Um, so we are grabbing the the function call as well as the argument. And then we load it as a JSON. Okay. So here we can say return funks. Okay. So notice that this um, function is going to return something to us. And I'll give you an example of how it looks like. So basically, the funks here is going to return something like this. Okay, this is what it's going to return. It's going to return a, a, a dictionary, and that dictionary is going to contain the two, the subject, and then the body. So this function itself is going to compose or draft an email for us, okay, in this form. Okay, so this is, this is because if you tell ChatGPT to... Um, send an email to somebody with a given email address he's just going to respond to you and say oh he cannot send um, an email to such an email address therefore you should look for uh, email service or whatever it is to send such an email okay that is what chat gpt is going to respond back to you but with this function um a function calling API, you're able to draft something like this. And then once you draft something like that, you can now pass that information to your custom or internal API or internal um, function to execute whatever you are looking for. Okay, so... Um, so in our main... In our main file, we are going to say from utils, we want to import email sender as well as draft email. Okay. And um, we are going to say content is equal to send an email to good data prof to check when he's going to upload new 
YouTube videos. Okay, so that is what we are asking ChatGPT to do for us. Okay, and then we can say data is equal to draft email, and this is going to take the content is equal to content. And then finally, we are going to call our email sender, which is going to take subject is equal to data. And then we extract the subject. The next is going to be the body. And then we say data. And then we extract the body. Okay, so basically, uh, this is what is going to send the email but we are extracting these two information from this information data okay so we want to print this so we can say print okay so let me import import text wrap And then we can say dot fill, and then we pass in the data, and then the width. Width is let's say eighty five. Okay, so I'm going to run this, and then let's see what we get. So it's still running. So let's wait and see what we are going to get. I think we are getting some errors. Um, text wrap. That's failing. Not sure why. Why that is failing? Let me see the text and then the width. Okay, let me see the text. So let me rerun this and see if we still get the same error. I know what to do. Yeah, I think we are still getting the same error. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to print data. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, we have the two, which is um, go data prof at Gmail. The subject is new YouTube videos. And then the body is what? Dear Go Data Prof, I am an avid follower of your YouTube channel, blah, blah, blah. And then you can see the log message that the email was sent. Okay. So um, let's go and check our email and see if the email actually arrived. This information actually arrived. Yeah, so as you can see, I changed the content to send an email to Donald Trump asking, asking if he wants to know about Go Data Prof. You see, this is the result. It, it was able to know that it has to use Donald Trump as donald.trump at example.com. And then the subject is interested in Go Data Prof question mark and then the, then the body. Okay, so let's go and check the two emails that we sent. We sent this one and also sent this one. Okay. So as you can see, 10 minutes ago, 
um the first th this was the first email that was sent dear go data prof i am an avid follower of your youtube channel and i really like the content that you create i was wondering when you will be uploading new videos as i am eager to learn from you kind regards okay so let's look at the other email so as you can see, this is the subject interested in Go Data Prof. I say what? Hello, Mr. Trump. I am writing to introduce you to Go Data Prof, an excellent resource for learning data science. It is comprehensive, user friendly, and offers a range of topics. If you are interested, I will be happy to provide more details. Best regards. Okay. So this is the email that. Um, chat GPT was able to compose for us and then we use um, the pieces of information in that text to compose um, the email okay so it, it knew about Mr. Trump in the in the statement it also knew about Go Data Prof and what he does on his YouTube channel so as you can see he said was well, send an email to Donald Trump asking if he wants to know about Go Data Prof. So he took Go Data Prof and it also took the name uh, Trump. Okay. And then it composed this uh, JSON response and then uh, sent an email. Okay. So this is how you can actually use the function calling API. Um, I'm going to check out this code, check it out, play with it and then build amazing uh, application out of it. You can also comment below if you have any issues, just let me know. I'll see you in the next one.